Rachel and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Coach Life video. Today's video is going to be a little bit different because I wanted to show you guys another part of coaching which is private lessons. Private lessons are lessons that are one-on-one -on -one between a coach and a gymnast, usually to work on a specific skill or to clean up routines or something, though each private differs a little bit. And today's private I'm doing with Kylie, who is seven and she's competing in XL Silver this year. And she just wants to get back in the gym because of Thanksgiving and everything. So we're gonna go in, work on some routines, maybe work on a few up skills. And yeah, I wanted to show you what that was like. So let's go. So our gym is kind of cool in the way that we have motion sensor lights. So right now it is so dark in here. The only light that we have coming in is the natural light from the doors. And then if I just walk up, and I trigger the sensors. Look, a light just switched on. And that's how we turn our lights on here at the gym, in case you guys ever wondered about that. Because they'll turn off at random times in videos too. It's not because anyone's switching anything off or anything. It's just because nobody's triggered the motion sensor in a while, so the light will switch off. It's kind of cool, in my opinion. Kylie's on her way. And I was late leaving the house, so I didn't have time to get coffee, which is a shame because in case you didn't know, gymnastics coaches live off of coffee. Caffeine. It's important. You better stretch well. This is on video. Do you want people to think that you don't stretch properly? Do you want them to see the truth? Hey Landon, what you doing? <laughs> you just that. Why are your brothers weird, Kai? It's tight knees, squeeze, straight arms. Shoulders over your hands, please push them. <laughs> Keep your shape, please. Push through shoulders, ribs in. Do not move your hands, push tall. Ribs in, please. There you go. Better shape, yep. Open shoulders, push. Good. Yeah, don't lose it. Keep it tight. Well, it was going well. <laughs> Why does she have mascara on her hands? Why does she have mascara on her hands? I don't even have mascara. Do I have a bruise on my face? Did you notice that? Because I thought for sure last night when it happened, like people were gonna see it and think I was being abused. Where? I don't want to touch it. It definitely feels bruised. I <laughs> I ran into my doorway. It was like 12 o'clock at night. I woke up because you know I'm still jet lagged, so I'm I was so tired. But I woke up. I had to use the bathroom. Went to the bathroom. All was good. Walking back into my room, here's the doorway. I just walked straight like this. <laughs> and hit my cheek. Like my whole face. And I was like, sorry, Rachel. Interesting back hips are going. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. There you go. Grab the ball. Round your ribs. There you go. And <laughs> round your ribs and pull up. Go. Tight and go pull over hips up. <laughs> Where do all your muscles go? 
Where'd they go? Did they run away? Did you lose them? Did they, did they disown you? Did you disown them? Go, watch it up. What's up? Hey, squeeze your butt. Thank you. Stop. And it's fast forward to go. Keep squeezing that, please. The ribs. Uh, you didn't get your ribs in. That was good keeping your feet together, but you didn't get your ribs in. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not, Missy. Squeeze it. Tight. <clears throat> this needs that. Okay. Ribs in. Push. Push. Ooh. Are your hands bothering you? No. Then why are you not holding on to the bar? You did your back hip circle literally like this. <laughs> like, like you were doing it with your wrists, like you don't have hands. <laughs> and I'm trying to tell you that, you know, if you grab onto the bar, it's gonna make your life a lot easier. Hey Kai, you look like a little chalk monster. Do you want to go show the squat on that you just sh showed on your last one? You want to go do it like yeah. that? I told her she I wasn't gonna let her compete her squat on if she wasn't gonna show me that she could do it well because I like her doing the squat on because it's getting ready for the next level. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, that was not it at all. You want to try that Ribs again? In. Round off. Show me another good one. Push. Okay, now you may round up by cancering with that same hurdle, that same round off, and then you just add the back cancering, okay? Hey, you two, I'd like you to stop arguing so much. Goodness. Families can be so disruptive during these lessons. It's ridiculous. So, the, the one rule of a private lesson is there needs to be a parent here. So, I guess I have to deal with them. 
You got water all over you? Let me see around if I can. Okay, reach. Was that a hollow hurdle? No. You went like this, and then you had to slam your arms down. If you reached out and stayed hollow and low to the ground, you'd get more power. You wanna try it again? Fast, push. There you go. That looked so much better. You have to use your legs. Use your legs, pull your legs up. Ah, you forgot the candlestick shape. Hips up, legs up in the air, and then you bend and roll down. Try to. Big. And bend. Better, do it again. Big jump, as big as you can. Use your legs, big. And bend. you also have to do the same thing with your hips. It's not all about the knees. If you just pull your knees in, you're just gonna do a tuck jump, right? Stand up and do a tuck jump. Just do a tuck jump right now. Yep, just do a tuck jump. Now do a tuck jump and roll your roll your hips under. So pull your hips up when you do a tuck jump. You can leave the mat behind you, but I want you to do it. Tuck jump and pull your hips forward. Look where you went. Back, right? That's what I'm saying, you have to use your hips in a back tuck. Okay, not just your knees. Kapesh? Kapesh. Got it, all right, chin up. Pretty? Point your toes super hard, you're at competition right now. So there's another coach in here doing a private lesson today. Hi! Except, except she's not going to be the coach, she's going to be the student. Yes, I am. <laughs> um, Delaney and I do this every week because Delaney um, is a massive, no, is a sadist. That's what it is, right? Yeah. When you like inflicting pain on others. And I'm apparently a masochist because I accept it, so. So, Aniza and Delaney have this thing where Delaney is Aniza's gymnastics coach. And she makes me stay here for four hours. Four. It's a long practice. It's a very long practice. Our kids don't even practice that long. <laughs> I never know what I'm gonna get back when I give a knee. The best. No. I've gotten back some interesting stuff. It just, what makes me happy is knowing that she has to sit and like go through, oh, it's blurry. Oh, it's not blurry. That she has to sit and go through all of my nonsense. I just love it. It. Come on, baby. I was impressed with how well she did.
You're not le meant to leave your clothes here. No. We have kids leave shoes. Like, how do you leave shoes? We have kids leave socks and underwear here, too. I left my soul here a few times. <laughs> my soul has been stolen here a couple times. No. Okay, we're leaving. You guys can figure that out. Love you. Bye, ladies. Bye. Bye, Bye Pete. Oh, I saw behind you. Real life of a gymnastics coach is that you take kids to go get popsicles. Isn't that right, Anisa? And, and their moms. Isn't that right, Anisa? How about that? Mm. So I was probably his birthday gift from Coach Anisa. I now owe her nothing. Bless them too, and then that happens. Can we go see Liz after? just don't do the vegetarian thing very well. They also make Liana's really gonna be so mad after she finds out I've got popsicles. Liz I and got I. free things for my paycheck. Liz and I literally have come here, gotten popsicles, and then talked till like 11 o'clock at night. And then close at 9. Guys, right, where are we going? Go Liz! Liz help! We're gonna go see Coach Liz! She doesn't know that we're on her way! Yeah, she doesn't know that <laughs> I think she can figure it out by now. You did call, call her enough. And Nisa calls her and is like, hey, are you home? And she said, yeah. And she's like, stay there, send hungs up. Hey, hungs up, hungs up. She, she doesn't, she hangs like, up. She doesn't know all of us are in the car. No, she doesn't. Just. I already did. Okay. Uh, Bismillah Are you guys? Buckled up. Why do you do that every time we go somewhere? Pray? Yeah. So that we don't die, Rachel. I don't know about doing Okay, so I pray every time every time a flight is about to take off or a flight's about to land, I'll close my eyes and I pray and that's my tradition. I've been doing that since my first flight ever. I, pray, I, was, I was Kylie's age. I pray every single time we go to the mall. Yeah. And movie theater. Shh, don't knock it. Hey, you should keep your mouth right. Okay. No, let me and my mom just answer. No, come on. Put it on her face, put it on her face. She's gonna be like, so funny, this is us. I wonder if she knows it's me. Oh, they're looking at the window.